And on the crime beat since March 28th, four burglaries have occurred in the 2100 block of 13th Street. And early this morning, an SPD officer was involved in the shooting of a potential burglary suspect. SMN's Hallie Pilot joins us live in the newsroom with more on this story. Hallie. Grant Nicole, good evening. Yes, in the past few days, there have been four burglaries all within pretty much the same block in Sarasota, and items like tools, pretty much drills and saws are what's being stolen. So last night, early this morning, a couple police officers were out doing what they call proactive patrolling when they spotted a man on a bike. Sarasota police officer Adam Marina and training officer Jonathan Torres were patrolling in the 2500 block of 12th Street just after midnight. Two of our officers uh, encountered an individual riding a bicycle without a light and attempted to contact that subject. When the man who we've since learned is 35-year-old Thomas Gick pulled off the street and into an alleyway. Uh, upon stopping, the individual produced a replica firearm during the contact with the officers. We now know the weapon was a BB gun that closely resembled a 9mm semi-automatic handgun. When the individual pulled out the handgun, our officers, out of fear for their safety, engaged a subject with their department-issued weapon. Uh, striking the subject a number of times. Arena shot Gick in the legs and he was transported to Sarasota Memorial. Gick has had run-ins with SPD before, but no arrests with them. He does have a history of arrest in Manatee County for domestic battery, possession of drugs without a prescription, and violation of pretrial release. Arena is on paid administrative leave pending investigation after what Robinson said was a frightening encounter that sometimes officers can't avoid. So it's not like it's happening out here on the street corner and we have time to dissect it. These are things that are unfolding very, very rapidly and there are a lot of things in play that are just are out of our control at that point in time and force the officers to make split second decisions their life and death. And another note Robinson wanted to make sure he got across during that press conference today was that officers aren't trained to shoot to kill when they see a perceived threat. They're just trained to shoot to stop the threat as soon as they can. Holly, great information. How long will this officer, though, be on administrative leave? He'll be on paid administrative leave uh, while they're conducting their internal affairs investigation just to make sure that the police carried out all the necessary procedures and did everything right. And then they also have to wait until the investigation with these burglaries is over because Gick is a suspect in those as well. Hallie Pyler reporting live for us tonight. Hallie, thank you very much.